Hey, 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 what's up, This is Tord with the Gray. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Showdown Gray version. This week was our second week in OU, and we actually ended up having a gym battle this week, and you guys came at me with your normal type gym teams, uh, and it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. I think I did a little bit better this week uh, in our second week in OU than, uh, than I did in previous weeks, but gym weeks are, are pretty generally a little easier for me, considering... I can prepare for you guys, and you guys are locked into more of a box with the, the typing and everything like that. So, you know, that's to be expected, I guess. Uh, but I pulled up some old favorites. Um, I did switch out uh, my Gardevoir from last week. Uh, Gladrail took a break. I did bring in Navi, my Sylveon, who I've used in OU before. Uh, brought that in. Um, and I brought uh, Goliath up from UU. He is now a Mega. And uh, I think uh, we did add the Shredder as well, um, just to get some resistances and stuff going. Didn't have any fighting moves on him, and he didn't do a whole lot here against Nurion in this battle. As you see, he goes down immediately to a close combat. Uh, Navi comes in at that point, I throw up the Toxic, uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and throw up the Protect, just to let that Toxic kind of uh, pile up a little bit, and, uh, and then we're gonna throw up what I believe is a Hyper Voice, probably? Maybe? There we go! Throw up that Hyper Voice, we do get a critical hit, um, but uh, I don't think the outcome would have ended up making any difference there. I, I think we might have, it might have been the difference between a, uh, a, a one shot or a two shot, but I do think it wouldn't have ended up uh, changing the outcome of the battle at all, uh, because I think uh, Navi could have taken whatever it is that uh, Melet had and, and been able to hit it again, so. There we go. Uh, Toadette comes out against the sleeping Mega Audino, um, and I bring in Blackavar. The Audino wakes up immediately, but Blackavar is able to get up a Sludge Wave there to finish it off, so that works out nicely. I throw up the Ice Beam, expecting the Ditto to immediately transform, um, but it did not, and so uh, it takes two hits to finish off the Ditto Nido King, and, uh, but then at that point we're able to finish it off. So uh, thank you so much for the battle, Nurion. I appreciate you coming back week after week. A cool little team there with both Blissey and Chansey, and uh, I think that might have been the only Mayaletta we saw um, potentially. That could be proven wrong here in a minute or two, but uh, it was a cool team, so thank you so much for coming at me with your uh, normal type uh, team put together. And, uh, yeah, so let's jump into the next battle, shall we? Here we go. Alrighty, guys, here we go. Battle number two up against Gym Trainer Codeman. And Codeman comes at us right out the bat with a Mega Lapunny. And Whirlpool is able to land that Will-O-Wisp, which is awesome. Uh, Mega Lapunnies are dangerous. Um, and this thing continues to, uh, to be scrappy, and it starts building up its attack again with the power-up punch. So at this point now, it's back to normal attack, which is already pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to bring Whirlpool out there. I'm going to bring in somebody else who I think can probably take a hit or two a little bit better. Um, and the Sucker Punch is going to do a little bit of damage, but the Ice Punch comes out and Blackavar takes a hard hit. Uh, he's still able to finish off Lola there uh, with the Sucker Punch, but almost dead. So uh, Blackavar doing good work there. Uh, able to outspeed the Diggers B and get the Ice Beam off, so that worked out very nicely for us. Uh, then he threw up the Sludge Wave. Chansey didn't get Fairy type? Are you kidding me with that? Uh, who knew? Chansey doesn't get fairy type, so uh, <laughs> so Chansey uh, survives that no trouble. I'm like, ah, well, crap. Uh, so I bring in Whirlpool. I use the pain split there, um, and since the Chansey line has such massive HP, um, I'm able to do some pretty decent damage to it, uh, and so that works out nicely. Uh, Whirlpool's got some toxic damage going. Uh, Chansey's got burn, but is able to use the aromatherapy and heal itself. Uh, so stalling's not going to work at all there for sure. Uh, so Goliath comes in at that point, takes a hard seismic toss, harder than I would have expected from a Chansey, uh, and uh, is able to land the close combat though, finishing it off. Uh, then Starscream comes in and is able to easily take care of Goliath. Uh, at that point, Whirlpool comes back in, is able to take the Brave Bird, all right, even with a crit, uh, and is going to be able to get that Volt Switch up to finish off uh, the Star Raptor. So, uh, yeah, a fun little battle there, doing a lot more uh, damage than I would have expected from a, a, a Pokemon deficient team, but uh, you had some good Pokemon on there, uh, and so not not that surprised. So thank you so much, uh, Jim Lee Trainer Codeman, for coming at us this week, and for always... Uh, being willing to add that variety in there, uh, so I appreciate it uh, very, very much. So, uh, alrighty, we've got a couple of more uh, here. You guys turned out pretty well this week, so let's see what the rest of you gym trainers have, and then we'll get to the gym battle. Alrighty, guys, here we go. 
Alrighty guys, here we go, battle number three up against David Khan, and David has uh, a very big flying influence in his team here. He does have uh, uh, the, uh, uh, oh, what, what, is this, what, is this, what is that thing called? Um, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm sorry. Stoutland! Stoutland, I was thinking Herdier, but I knew that wasn't it. Uh, so he's got the Herdier here, um, but then he does, he, I mean, you, people forget that most flying types are also part normal. So in a normal type gym, you, you've got the ability to use these these fire types here. Uh, and he was going with a Star Wars themed naming convention, which was kind of fun to watch. Um, Shredder throws up that Sucker Punch, but not able to do it as the Switch came, so I'm going to switch out. Black Bar comes in at that point, gets the burn off, but given that we're mostly special attackers, not too worried about that, uh, so Black Avar is going to start throwing up those ice beams um, and uh, hitting hitting uh, Devid's team of flying types pretty hard uh, until Noctail survives, able to get that air slash off, which is going to be enough to kill. Uh, and then Goliath comes in at that point uh, in order to use his, uh, his nice uh, grouping of, of moves to get... Uh, a good coverage and finish off uh, several of the flying types. The Mega Pidgeot going down there. Uh, Goliath getting the close combat off on the X-Wing, which is going to lower his defenses. Um, but I don't know that it's going to matter here. Oh, I do switch him out just to be safe. Uh, Star Destroyer sets up the Roost. And I'm going to go for the Volt Switch here, I believe, to finish off. Ooh, it doesn't finish off. It's got better defenses than I expected, but the Volt Switch forces out. Going to be able to throw up that Mach Punch there, though, uh, with the priority and finish off... Uh, the Braviary. So, um, thank you so much, David, for coming out this week and having a cool, unique team. I appreciated that. I love Mega Pidgeot and stuff, so it was cool to see that being used. And, uh, yeah, we got a couple of more. <laughs> my puppy is lying in, under the desk at my feet, and he is currently asleep. I can hear him yipping, and he's kind of shaking a little bit. He's... Did you hear that? Anyway, sorry. Uh, thank you so much, David, for, for coming back week after week. I really do appreciate the continued support that all of you guys continue to give this series. And, uh, yeah, we've got a couple more battles to do, so let's get into it so this episode's not too long for you guys. All right, guys, here we go. All right, guys, here we go up against Gym Trainer Arctic Animal, and Mac came at us with a very cool team this week. Um, he's got, you know, a nice variety of, uh, of dual types, and then he's got his... Uh, uh, Altaria there as um, as his I guess not his ace but as his kind of I, I give you I, I've said before when we do gym teams that I I give you guys a you know a, a little bit of leeway it doesn't have to be strictly monotype uh, and given that Altaria's pre-evolution is part normal I believe uh, I'll, I'll allow it <laughs> and Goliath comes in here throws up that rock blast uh, is gonna be able to finish off the Altaria there uh, but then Parrot comes in uh, with its chatter and is able to easily rip through. Uh, Goliath there. Uh, Shredder comes in, takes a decent damage from it, and then gets confused. Um, I expected the, per, the um, switch out, so I threw up Pursuit uh, there. Didn't didn't really work out that way. I'm um, gonna get the Sucker Punch off, doing decent damage to Roger, but that Earthquake's gonna come in and finish uh, finish off uh, the guy there. So um, come in with Toadette, throw up that Mock Punch. Um, at that point, Halo's gonna come in, gonna get hit, um, and uh, then we've got Circle, the Ursa Ring comes in, I'm gonna throw up that Spore, don't want him to do anything really fancy, because these things can be bad news, bears, uh, and so Teddit's gonna be able to finish off that, uh, and then Deer comes in, throws up that Protect, uh, Mach Punch, not gonna be able to do an anything there, obviously, and then they try for the Protect again, but obviously it fails on the second turn, uh, and Toadette's gonna be able to finish it off, so, uh, thank you so much, Mac, I love the makeup of your team, it was a really cool team, love seeing, no Normal Types is one of my favorite team, or favorite types, uh, you guys know that, so, it's very cool for me to see all these cool Normal Type teams that you guys threw together, it really just, just fun as a fan of the type to see what you guys came up with, so, uh, thank you guys, uh, or thank you, Mac, so much for the continued support, let's jump into the last couple battles here, here we go. Alrighty guys, here we are uh, with the second to last gym trainer battle and uh, Admiral Emulat brought it this week uh, and uh, so he comes out, he's got uh, the fairy type as his kind of off type uh, Pokemon and uh, gets that belly drum up. We are able to get the Will-O-Wisp going uh, but Whirlpool takes, uh, takes a four times attack return before being able to land the Will-O-Wisp so Proud of uh, Whirlpool on that. Uh, Black, Black Bar is able to come in with the Sludge Wave, finishing off uh, the Fairy type, so that works out nicely. Uh, but then the Megalop Honey is back and going to be able to finish off Black Bar there. 
I did make, uh, because I'm seeing it in the comments, I was talking to Edward Emmy a lot about it, uh, so I want to make note of it. I did decide, potentially uh, incorrect, I, I decided to not bring Fumesy this week, uh, is what I'm trying to say. And uh, not sure if that ends up being the best deal. I think for the most part, uh, the battles worked out pretty well this week. Uh, but this one, I think I probably really could have used Fumesy, uh, had him in hand. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's kind of a double-edged sword, trying to get variety in there. Uh, Rotom Wash has very similar stats, um, and I figured, you know, the, where the deficiencies might be. I figured Rotom Wash was good enough that we could avoid bringing Fumesy in. Um, and uh, Fumesy does have some resistances that can add to that as well, so... Uh, that's, that's a, you know, something we gotta take into consideration, but I think for the most part the team worked alright. We don't necessarily need to have Fumesy on every team we ever build, uh, but he is a nice fallback because he's just always so, so good with that. So, uh, Navi and, uh, Heidi the Miltank are, uh, having a bit of a stall war here. I decided not to put Heal Bell on Navi. I didn't want to run it as a strict cleric. I wanted it to be able to do, you know, some things on its own without having to rely solely on, uh, others for damage. I wanted it to be able to do that. Um, but uh, it does leave us stuck with the paralysis, which is a little disappointing. Uh, then Roby comes in, and uh, these things are huge special defense tanks. Um, I've, you know, obviously I had a Hurley in UU, and I've used Munchlax in Little Cup for similar, uh, similar positions. Uh, and so Shredder is, uh, you got all these curses setting up. Uh, but Shredder is having real difficulty getting through, and just as we get close, then the rest comes. Uh, and so, this is why Snorlax is so great in the competitive scene. I mean, if I had, if I had taken the... I, I didn't want to put Brick Break on Shredder, Shredder because I didn't want to be too OP in this gym battle, uh, or this gym, you know, week. Uh, so I didn't even put a fighting move on, on Shredder, which I would normally run on my, uh, on my Pokemon, on my Bisharper, uh, Whatever, whatever Shredder is. Uh, uh, oh crap. See, this is... I'm not good with these, some of these later generation Pokemon always. Um, what, what was what, what is it called? Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, that was a Bisharp. What is the... A Ponyard is the other one. Alright, well, whatever. Um, anyway, so Toadette finishes off Miltank there. Um, her, uh, I almost said Hurley. Snorlax does go out. Um, Diggerby comes in at this point, and I decide, okay, I'm gonna put this thing to sleep, and I start setting up sword dances, because I want to make sure that we can handle the Snorlax. Um, unfortunately, though, as you guys will see here, I get greedy, and I want to make sure I get to four times attack, but Diggersby wakes up just in time to kill Toadette, so all of that set up doesn't do anything, and then Diggersby is able to sweep through the rest of our physical attackers, um, and then Navi, so we didn't even get a chance to get back to, to the Snorlax and get wrecked by that, um, but, uh, Digg I mean, Diggersby is one of my absolute favorites, too. I really like, uh, Diggersby. I love its typing, I love his derpy face, and the huge power ability is really not to be messed with, uh, and so I got greedy. I, I thought, I, at, at three, after I did two swords, and I was like, I should go, but I'm like, you know what, nah, he's asleep, let's give it one more. But no, no, uh, so yeah, it's, it's a lesson to you guys, don't be greedy, I probably could have easily gone with three, or even two, and finished off this battle, uh, because Snorlax is more of a special attacker than, or defense than a, a physical, but anyway, I got greedy, and it cost me the battle, it did, so, uh, good job, and, and like, GG, thank you so much for coming, and, uh, really kicking my butt this week, that was a fun battle, I loved your team, uh, and, uh, and I just appreciate, I love really close battles like that, uh, whether I win or lose, uh, they're, they're always more fun when you, your heart starts pumping things like that so thank you so much for the battle we've got two more left today so let's jump into those really quickly uh and then we'll figure out what we're doing next week Alrighty, thank you so much again and rambling up here we go Alrighty guys, last gym trainer battle for the day. Uh, that's, so Nougat's Ditto just came in and immediately upon coming in, its ability had it transform into uh, the opposing Pokemon, which was what I expected uh, on a previous battle to have happened, which is uh, when I had Black Bar use Ice Beam against so it. I was like, oh, I'll one-shot this thing when he transforms into Nido Queen, uh, but it didn't end up working out. Uh, Goliath is going to be able to, I predict the switch on that one, throw up the Rock Blast, um, and I'm able to take out Talonflame early, which is really exciting for me, 
because that Talonflame wrecked me in my rematch with Nougat last week. Um, and so I was glad to get that thing off the field, uh, for sure. Um, and so here we are against Mega Heracross, against Mega Heracross there. And uh, Goliath taking some hard hits. I think he is going to go down here. Yeah, Goliath goes down. Uh, and so Ditto is able to take us out. But they switch out, bring in Excellent and uh, strong special defenses on the Chansey as well. So I'm going to get Whirlpool out of there. Whirlpool can't do much there. And the Chansey, I believe... Um, as the aromatherapy or whatever. It's, it's got the, the things it needs to get rid of status, so it wasn't even worth trying to throw up the Will-O-Wisp there or anything. Uh, I think it also has the ability uh, Regenerator or something, because when it switches out, it loses its status. I don't know which one that is, because uh, I think Regenerator brings, gives you back health. But there is one that when you switch out, your status goes away. Uh, Toadette hangs in there with that fake out, uh, and uh, we're going to be able to uh, take out the Lob Punny in one hit, which is nice. I switch Shredder in on the Ambipom knowing that the fake out's coming, and I don't want to uh, I don't want to waste Toadette if I don't have to. So I bring Shredder in uh, to finish off Boots. Oh, I just noticed its name was Boots. I'm sorry, Nougat. I should have commented on that before when we were battling. Aw, poor Boots. I almost brought Boots myself this battle, um, but I, I just didn't. I didn't. Uh, so... Uh, th that's that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you for that homage, Nougat. I love boots. All right. Um, Toadette comes in at this point. They throw up the soft boiled. I'm gonna throw up the spore uh, because I only really get one shot at this because of life orb. So I want to make sure that I I make my mock punch count. Um, and they switch out, but we still are able to take out a Pokemon with it. So uh, that works out. Black of our comes in at this point, and at this point though, it is a bit challenging uh, because. Um, Chansey, I, I, at this point again, I find myself without any of my physical attackers. Blackavar does have uh, Sucker Punch, um, but Chansey is one of those Pokemon you can't always predict exactly what it's going to do because it's got so many different facets to what it does. Uh, and so they're able to do actually way more damage than I would have expected, um, especially to um, Blackavar, who... Now, why does he not resist Seismic Toss? That's odd. Um, but anyway, so really, really tough there. Black of Our goes down um, to a Chansey, which is rough. Uh, but again, Chansey doesn't have a Fairy Typing, so Sludge Wave not doing as much as maybe Auto. Anyway, uh, it's got great special defenses is the deal. So uh, Whirlpool's here, and uh, I'm able to... Uh, Nick away at the chance he's held a bit. It's got the soft boiled though, which is making it really difficult. Um, I do throw up the pain split, which is going to give me full because the chance he's got so much HP. Um, it's it's one of those things where I can easily heal all the way back up with whatever HP chance he's got. Um, and I keep Nick trying to get some damage away from it with the hydro pumps and things like that. Uh, but it's a it's a grind, man. And uh, and so we're able to continue get some health back a little bit here or there. Um, throw up a little bit at the Chansey. Uh, he goes and goes ahead and knocks out uh, the Navi. Uh, at that point, though, I throw up the Hyper Voice out speed and kill the Chansey, uh, and that ends the battle. So uh, thank you so much, Nougat, uh, for uh, both for uh, you know bringing it again this week. You always uh, always do. So I appreciate uh, the tough battles and uh, for coming back week after week and for putting together a cool team. Uh, really really fun to see that. I think. You might have been the only one to bring Ambipom in, which is, uh, which I appreciate because you guys know that Ambipom is one of my favorite, at least Apom is one of my favorites. So, um, and I love Ambipom as well, but, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you so much, Nougat. Um, and especially I want to thank you. Uh, he, we could have done a long drawn out stall war there and he decided to, he's like, you know what? No, we'll, we'll just play this out. And so he stopped soft boiling with Chansey there at the end. I think it, the outcome would have still been the same. The battle would have just been like, 20 turns longer or something so uh because i had the pain split i could i could you know stall him out longer than he could stall me out and he saw that writing on the wall so i appreciate uh i appreciate you taking uh moves to speed the battle along there um so uh thank you so much for all that this week nougat uh but now he was the final gym trainer we had on the docket so we've got one more left so let's check out who the gym leader was this week and then we'll figure out what we're doing next week so here we go thanks again nougat Alrighty guys, this week our gym leader was the Espresso Cat, and uh, he, had a, he had a very interesting team put together here. Um, he, he brought in a couple of off-types, uh, but for the most part I didn't mind it so much. Um, 
Uh, Togepi is a part, you know, normal type in its early stages, so the Togekiss, no issue with that at all. Uh, the Wismacot and the Malamar, obviously they're for coverage, uh, but you know, gym trainers, they have the, the right, I, th I think, you know, I, I give you guys the opportunity to bring in some off types if needed, um, and I think in this instance, they definitely, uh, you know, normal types, it's hard sometimes to get them their own coverage, uh, and so you gotta bring in another type, so I, I, I'll buy that, I'll buy that, um, doesn't bother me at all, um, and he put together a cool team here, uh, you know, with the Tauros and the Swellot and the, you know, all of these different Pokemon, things that I didn't see. Really. The Hil Hilosis, a lot of you guys had that guy today, uh, but for the most part, um, all new Pokemon here. So, uh, it was cool to see that a lot of you guys managed to, even with the same type. Uh, OU gives you some more opportunities, because pretty much everything is unlocked at that point. It's a bit, at least a normal type. Is there any Ubers uh, or anything goes normal types? I doubt it, uh, but it's possible, I suppose. Uh, but I would be, I would be surprised. Um, but anyway, so uh, put together a cool team here. I love the variety that I saw this week. We've got Fairy type on Fairy type right here. Uh, Navi is paralyzed again, but we did get the Toxic off, uh, which is in the end going to uh, do more to the Doja Kiss than than par uh, being paralyzed is going to really affect us. Uh, and so we are able to finish off the Togekiss there, uh, which is very nice. We're now three to three, so uh, we're we're doing uh, you know we're taking some hard hits from Eket and his team here. Uh, Navi throws up the protect. The Iron Head comes in. At that point, it's just a stall tactic. I was you know hoping that maybe we would get you know enough health back, but uh, with the the critical hits and things like that coming out. Not really a chance, uh, but Toadette comes in with one mock punch and finishes off uh, the Tauros, so that works out nicely. Now we're two to two, um, and I feel pretty confident with the two that I've got left. Um, we've got Sunbrat here and Swellow, and I think that Whirlpool can handle the Swellow, and Toadette can handle Sunbrat. It just depends on how we manage to get our, our matchups there. So I switch out, I bring in Toadette, and I'm uh, thankfully Hiloskis was faster. Uh, and so Toadette didn't have to take a hit when it came in. Whirlpool took that hit for it. Um, and so then I'm able to fin off, finish off the Helosis, um, and then, uh, able to get the Mach Punch off on the Swellow. I'm not sure what Sky Attack does exactly. Um, it's not like Fly, because I was still able to hit it. It says, in the chat, it said it became cloaked in a harsh light. I've never used that attack myself, so I don't know if, if, um... I don't know if it's just a two-turn move, like Solar Beam or something, and it doesn't... I, I don't know. I don't. I, I do need to look that one up. But uh, Toadette was able to finish it off there, and Eket had a cool team uh, that really did some good damage to me, so I wanted to, to honor him by making him the gym leader there. So thank you so much, Eket, for coming at me with an awesome team this week. Uh, really do appreciate your continued support, uh, not only on this series, but just... Uh, and the channel as a whole, because you've been around since the very beginning, uh, so uh, I appreciate you still being around three years, almost three years later, so uh, that's awesome. Thank you so much for your participation, and a great battle this week as the gym leaders. So, uh, all right, that is the normal type gym in OU, uh, so now we need to take a look at our spreadsheet, figure out what we're going to be doing next week, so let's jump into that right now. Here we go. All righty, guys, here we go, looking at our spreadsheet. Let me let me real quick go ahead and, well, actually, we just need to get rid of that. I normally would have done this before, but I apparently forgot. Okay, so let's gray these out. We have done those battles now. All right. So what we need to do now is we need to roll for what kind of encounter we're doing, which we do every week. So let me go over here. Let's, uh, uh, and generate. And okay. So we actually have an evil team battle this week, so that'll be fun. Uh, it's been a little while. Well, at, at least we haven't done one in OU yet, so uh, that'll be fun. Yeah, so we've got an evil team battle this week. That'll be cool, so let's uh, let's get that marked out. Uh, so we've got an evil team battle in OU, uh, and I guess that's really all the information that we need to get going here. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. That'll be cool. That'll be cool. So um, make sure to get your evil teams all updated for the OU tier. If you guys have some existing ones you've been using, I know like Nerion brings in his his you know grass evil team every every time we do it and things like that. So if you've got a continuous a continuous team, dust them off, get them back up for OU, or build something new. Whatever you guys want to do, um, and I will see you guys out there starting tomorrow morning. Um, I should be here for all the slots this week. I apologize if you guys didn't, at least one of you guys didn't see 
uh, the note at the top of the description uh, last week. After I recorded last week's episode, um, I realized, oh, my wife and I, we were going on a skiing trip uh, because Martin Luther King Day here in America it was last Monday, and a lot of the schools and government and stuff got off for that. I had to take off work, but um, my wife was off work for that, so she had Monday off, so we took... I took Monday and Tuesday off, and we went on a ski trip up in uh, Michigan last weekend, which was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, um, but uh, it, that meant oh, I'm I'm normally uh, would be on Monday and Tuesday morning and lunch, uh, and so I put a note at the as soon as I like was uploading, I was like oh crap, I'm not gonna be here, so I put a note at the top of the description so it would be sticking out so everybody would see it. But at least one of you guys didn't, and so if, if others of you guys didn't see it. Um, and, and missed out on this week or were sitting around waiting for me, I apologize. Um, I should be here for every slot this week, uh, I think. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Torment the Grain. You guys have been great. Uh, really, you guys have been fantastic. You guys are what makes this series tick. Uh, and so I love it that you guys come back week after week. Uh, and it's been a lot of fun. Uh, so I appreciate uh, what you guys do so much. You really bring so much to this series and to this channel. You guys are the lifeblood. So I appreciate it. I look forward to battling you guys this week and your evil teams. Uh, and then we'll see what the future holds for this series. So we're getting close to the end, though. We, we've got seven badges now. Um, and so we've got one more badge before we start heading into Ubers and the Elite Four uh, and then eventually the Champion Battle. I think what we'll probably end up doing, so we will go, um, well, we'll have to update the encounter type a little bit once we get to that point. Um, but once we once we hit this gym, um, you know, we'll, we'll probably remove, well, I guess what I'll probably just do is at, instead of gym, it'll just say Elite Four. But once we hit the Elite Four, then it'll just be, you know, we'll roll for type, um, but then we will, uh, you know, we'll just be doing Elite Four for four weeks, uh, and then the champion directly after that. So, um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're getting close to the end, kind of, so, uh, you know, it's it's always bittersweet when you come to the end of a series, especially, this has been a lot of fun, and, and I, f I feel like at some point, probably not immediately, but at some point we will start up another series exactly like this and do, you guys can pick a new starter and we will kind of just go from there because I think you guys have been enjoying it. I've been enjoying it a lot. Uh, and so eventually we will run, you know, gray version season two or something, but, uh, yeah, it'll be great. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been rambling a lot. Oh man, this episode's almost 30 minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Torment the Green. You guys have been great. Make sure to do those likes, comments, subscriptions for me guys, and I will see you all back here next week. Uh, but hopefully I'll see you before that, uh, in the battle arena, uh, starting tomorrow morning, uh, through Thursday lunch. Uh, but yeah, if you guys wanted to participate in this series before and you have not, you've just been watching, there's a link down in the description down below to go to Pokemon Showdown. It's a free online battle simulator, which we use for this series. You can just get on. You don't have to register. You don't have to give them any kind of information. You don't have to download anything. You just jump on, build teams, um, and, and get going with it. Uh, and if you're having trouble building teams or something, that's not something you've ever done before. Um, I will note that this is, this Pokemon show is in conjunction with Smogon, uh, which is the main competitive battle community online. Uh, and they have a, a battle Pokedex set up where you can go and copy and paste uh, sets and 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 showdown his setup so you can paste that right in and it creates the Pokemon for you. You don't have to do any other work with it. Uh, so they've made it really easy for you. Go to that website if you guys haven't if you haven't participated but you want to jump in there. All the details for how to find me are in the description down below as well. So and if you got any questions on that, if you can't figure out showdown but you've been wanting to participate, just send me a comment and I'll help you out. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Torment the Green. You guys have been great. Have a good one.